last week on Married to the Games. Hi, I'm Commander Shepard. I am a robot. I, I've been playing Mass Effect 2, and I really cannot stand his voice right now. Um, the company we were going to go through uh, sucks. So. There's your update. <laughs> Uh, gosh, you're like, is that chest hair or Dorito crumbs? <laughs> yeah, they're What's like, like they're like teenage mutant ninja toes. Uh, okay, <laughs> All right. exactly. And for yep. those kids that don't know, a library is a place that has a bunch of books <laughs> and, <laughs> and a Dewey Decimal System. what it is it's them kids and wives and nine to fives but we are married to the game zero five seven thank you guys for being here it's your boy gabriel patillo with tim browder and timothy hall of course and as always we talking life and games games and life we really really appreciate you guys listening welcome to the show our little podcast our little space on the internet. We are very, very happy to be here. Um, Router. Yes, my man. How you doing? I'm good, man. Last week, uh, celebrated our 15 year anniversary. That's right. So this past weekend, we just kind of, we laid low and we, um, my wife surprised me. We ended up going to the Hutton Hotel for a night and we got like this, uh, King suite and, um, for those of you who don't know, the Hutton Hotel is kind of a newer, swankier hotel in off of Broadway and near downtown. And Nashville, yeah. yes, and um, so we we like got room service, drank some champagne, and slept great. <laughs> Cause, <laughs> I cause know that's we, right. We left Piper with Grandma and Grandpa, and we were like, "Peace, we're out." That's incredible. So and we up out this thing. Peace. We up out this thing. Peace. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it was Hashtag great. we about this thing. <laughs> exactly. So, like I said, we were supposed to go to um, this resort right outside of uh, Atlanta called uh, Barnsley Gardens. Um, originally, that was a, the intent for this whole weekend. And they had a wedding and they were booked. And, of course, they call me on Thursday saying, hey, we have availability now. And, oh, Lord. and I was like. Nah, we're good. So we just decided we <laughs> we just decided not to. So we stayed at the the Hutton Hotel, and then on Saturday we took Piper down to Chattanooga to the aquarium. So it was. Oh it was, yeah, that's right. How was that? It was great. It was a nice. We had a nice like family weekend. I didn't work, and it was just great just to just be together and hang out. So we had a we had a really good time. So beautiful. So yeah, it's been good. So now I'm just back in the swing of things with work. Um, I am. All in with Mass Effect Two right now. I am oh good. All in, like I, at the start, I'm like, okay, where's this going? But now, like, there's just so many stories. There's so many little missions, so many things to do, and I'm all about it. About it now. It's just so good. So nice. I still can't stand his voice, but <laughs> yeah. I've completely overcome that now, and it's it's gotten to the point where it's it's not bothering me as much. There's like a right. few, few words or phrases that he'll say, but like, oh come on, dude, you could have done better than that. <laughs> but yeah, I am really, really all in with this game. So it's it's huge, man. It is a massive game. So right. <clears throat> so I am. Uh, I'm trying. I got some good hours in this weekend because Lauren actually ended up. Um, after we came back from our great family vacation, Lauren had a last minute, uh, project she had to do at work. So she was up late and she went to this, uh, the store while I was here with Piper and I put Piper to bed and I had like three hours of just pure unadulterated mass effect tunis. Shut up. So I, I put that, I put it down and it was great. So I'm yeah, glad I, you're enjoying it. Yeah, I <laughs> really am. I'm and like I said last week, like I'm not a huge space gamer, um, like I said, Dead Space is definitely up there with me. This is this is by far one of the best space games I've ever played, and it's just great. Just because there's there's so much story to it, and there's just a ton of stuff you can do too. Like I'm upgrading the crap out of everything, and nice. it's just, yeah, it's just it's really really cool. So yeah, I'm all in with Mass Effect and um, loving it. So it's been good stuff, 
and we can i'm sure we'll get the get the the big old elephant out of the uh, in the room uh, i.e watchdogs we'll have a discussion about that after our our weekend oh, update oh yeah but uh i was a little bummed about that but we can talk more about that later there you go halsifer yeah so um Thank goodness you let. T- <laughs> what yeah, was, what? So, yeah. Um, so okay. <laughs> That's funny. Thank goodness you let Tim go first, man. Because I had to finish my oatmeal. <laughs> exactly. Nice. You'd be like, "Hall, what? We what? We go." Um. Yeah, Chris and I. Uh. Well, we go to bed at like ten now and get up at uh. Between somewhere between six and seven and make breakfast before we both go to work. That's, That's awesome. awesome. It's great. <laughs> yep. Breakfast is my favorite. I love it. Yep. I can definitely ch- tell that you've changed your lifestyle in that way because every time you guys join the hangout, it used to be like, router used to be like, Oh, yes, yes, y'all. How y'all party people doing? <laughs> and, <laughs> and, me, <laughs> and me and Hall were like, My KC Mick cut me, Mick. Oh, that's so and funny. And now Hall's like, Hey, guys. I'm like, Oh, crap. Hey, what's going on? I'm the last of the Mohicans. Yeah, but, you're not, but you've always been a night person, though, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. So it's just. <laughs> you kind of have to be. Yeah, you don't have a choice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're forced into it, but oh, that's shoot. funny. <laughs> Sorry, Hall. Uh, it's all good. Uh, this weekend, we went to the Bluegrass Festival in East Tennessee. It's it's actually called like the Appalachian Homecoming Festival. Uh huh. Man, there are some really good up and coming bluegrass oh, yeah. bands. Have yeah, you been to the one in Franklin? Jokers. Have you been to that uh, one before? That I don't happens. Think so. it, it happens in July, which is always super hot, and it's on a weekend. It's usually like the last weekend in July, and it's a uh, uh, I think bluegrass on the Harpeth. And man, oh, I'm with okay. I'm with you, dude. You think you think bluegrass is all just a bunch of you know whatevers, but there are some talented people. Yeah, there are there are definitely. Well, you know, we went to the uh, show, and it was three days long. We only went for one day. Uh, we went out there with Krista's grandparents, and um, you know, like. Some of the first acts and stuff, they were pretty talented, but then these guys got up there towards the end, and they were just unbelievable. That's so um, cool. And they, they really, like, a lot of them are getting more modern with their lyrics and stuff, and they're kind of becoming mainstream bluegrass bands, and these guys just tour the country all year long. Are so, they talking about twerking? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. No. Yes. <laughs> Miley Cyrus was right there. Yeah, oh. like break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, twerk for me, mama, <laughs> twerk for my sister. Oh my, like, gosh. oh my gosh! Yeah, you can't knock bluegrass, man. It's like it's one of those things where if if you live around here, especially, you really you really start to respect how how amazing some of these people are mm-hmm. and how how talented they are. I mean, you just I think the common person thinks it's just like some honky tonks, whatever. But man, it's it's really it's pretty incredible. Well, most but, of them, you know, are, have been playing instruments since you know forever. Yeah, oh yeah. So they're amazing at their instruments. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and then oh yeah, I was going to work someday last week, and I heard on the radio it was like some allergy commercial. They were like, hey. Don't take those allergy shots. Come and get allergy laser surgery or something weird. What? I'm in. So I was just bringing it up to you. <laughs> Is it approved by the government? I'm in. It, it's some I'll kind of thing. Now they got their approval during the shutdown. So oh, nice. But uh, uh. <laughs> um, it's some kind of thing. They they were like, let us you know come in here and we'll shoot you with a laser or something, and then you'll <laughs> never have allergies again. <laughs> okay, I'll try it. <laughs> Maybe they just mean they're going to kill you, so you'll never have yeah. allergies again. Come on in, and you don't come out. <laughs> that is crazy. That's so funny. That's I'll it's have down to, in Franklin, so you're going to have to. I can't remember the name of the place, but I'll have to look into it. That sounds very. It's interesting. It's really weird. I mean, I think the shots are helping me, but um, it's such a slow process. I'm very curious what they are claiming they can do. That's different. Yeah, I wonder about that. Because you can't just shock your body and be like, okay, you're not allergic to this anymore. Yeah, I have no idea. That's so funny. Maybe it was fake. I have no I have no I pre- clue. 
I appreciate you thinking about me, though. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, I, I couldn't not think about you because like they made it a point to keep talking about the shots. Like you're like, don't get the shots anymore. You don't have to worry about the shots. That's so funny. Oh, that's, that's too crazy. good. And I was like, well, wait, Router's never going to level up if he doesn't take his shots. Dude, I'm always level. <laughs> Dude, I am level up. I'm at gold level now. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> That's I'm, I'm big timing with you my shots. You hit the level cap on the shots. No, uh, well, I got one more level to go. Uh, I have I have a little more <laughs> XP to do, and then I'll be good to go. <laughs> Jeez Louise! Are but, you still Are you still playing Diablo three? Not to change the subject. Or anything? Uh, I didn't get any time to play it this past week, but mostly I've been playing XCOM on the iPad. Oh, nice! Oh, you picked it up oh, while it was on yeah. sale. Yes, yes. Awesome. Okay, so, how is it? So it's you played great. the console, and you played the console version too. So which one's yes. better? Uh, still got to go with the console version, even though they, they did things for touch. It's not as intuitive as it should be. I don't think, especially for like moving dudes around. Like you would think that, excuse me, you would think that on the iPad, it would be a lot easier to move people around. Right. Really? It's not. Uh Oh yeah. It's kind of weird. Huh? Because, like, when you're trying to pick a place for a person to move, sometimes you'll end up just, like, moving the map and stuff. It's just real oh, weird. Yeah, sure. And it's a testament to how good that game is that it crashes after every single mission, and I still play it. It does? It crashes, like, constantly. You're kidding me. Yeah. Huh. Which, it's which, insane. Which I, which, and you have okay. the new iPad Mini, right? Yeah, I was going to say, I have the iPad Mini. I have the latest version of iOS 7, which is like 7.0.2. So, first things first, to e in order to get the game to even go, I had to disable Game Center. Oh, what? I don't know Lord. what's up with that. Oh, um, my Lord. And then, like I said, it just crashes constantly. It'll crash in mission even. So, I have to save it very often. Oh, that's, my that gosh. That sucks. How much did you pay for it? Uh, ten bucks. Ooh, yeah. So, which is a lot for an iOS game. Yeah, but it's you would not think a lot for XCOM. No, no, no. But you would you would think that they would have they would patch that or there would be some sort of bug. I mean, do well, they do they allow you to report it? Um, or does it just no, go? There's not it anything, just goes back to the there's screen. There's not anything in game. It's already been reported because I actually couldn't get it started. So we were like, you know, on the way to the uh, festival, and I was like, cool, I'll just open it up and play some XCOM. And I couldn't get the game to start at all. Like, it would go to, I think, like, the first game screen. And before jumping into the mission, like, it would just crash every time. Wow. Oh, so I had to go and figure out how to get around that. And that was basically on the 2K forums. People were like, oh, just disable Game Center and it works. And then, like, you keep playing and it just keeps crashing. And I went back to the forum. And they're like, oh, yeah, but it crashes a lot. So what the heck? Wow, I don't understand. I mean, <laughs> maybe that fixed. game is just too much for the iPad. Could be, but it's. I mean, that that Mini's got a nice little processor in it, so it should be able. Oh, to... Oh, the game runs pretty good. I mean, there are only some instances where it slows down a little, hmm. but I mean, I know they had a a. They didn't have the actual team handle the port. It's it was handled by um, I think Two K China. I think like they've got a little. Chinese uh, development studio. And I mean, they were probably going in there into somebody else's code and somebody else's game and just trying to figure things out and reverse engineering. Huh. So I, ca yeah. I can see why it would be a little janky, I guess. Hmm. That's still frustrating for 10 bucks. It is, but I mean, I just want to work in copy. Like, I don't care that I paid $10, just patch it fix it yeah i, I think yeah. you just I, I think you love the portability of it too where you can just grab your ipad and just go it it sucks you in i'm serious yep. like even if you've played the game before so awesome yeah i i i'm i have it downloaded because we got that for fr double e with playstation plus i'm just i'm chomping at the bit to play that game but i know as soon as i do i'm gonna get so hooked Yes. Yeah. You got. That's the you only reason I it, didn't. Man. That's the only reason I didn't download it from my iPad was because I was like, okay, I just beat this game twice. Right. On my PlayStation. <laughs> so does anybody last thing know? I need. Does anybody know if the enemy unknown or the enemy within expansion thing is going to have like basically a new story or something? Is it an expansion or a or a sequel? Well, I keep I keep 
I keep hearing mixed things about it. I keep hearing that, oh, it's just character customization, nothing else. And then some people say, no, it's supposed to be like an expansion, like a new missions or something like that. And I'm like, eh, well, w- what is it huh. exactly? <laughs> you know? I thought that's what, that's really weird. I mean, I it, it seems sequel, like sequel. it would be, it almost seems like it would be just a, not like a game of the year edition, but similar to one because they, in order to re-release it, they have to put it with the, the game, like the actual game itself in the stores. Mm-hmm. Which is just weird, because like they can't make it DLC; it's too big. Huh. Right, right. I don't huh. understand it. It's interesting. I don't know. Somebody will understand it and set us straight. Yes, set us straight, peoples. Gabe, so, yes. Hi. Why? Are, why are you tired, dude? I had a freaking night and a half last night. Um, I have been doing good. Uh. I feel like I feel like a lot has happened, but I don't want to take up too much time. But um, so there's a thing called the Dove Awards that uh, Christian music has. It's like our version of the Grammys kind of thing. And those were last night. And so um, and we performed at them, uh, which was awesome. You'll be able to see it on television next week. I don't know what channel or anything, but um, I'll tweet it out when it's coming up. Um and so we performed at that, and it was really cool because Toby was up for a bunch of awards, and of, of course he won a bunch of awards. But the big one that he was up for was Artist of the Year, and um, he he told us because we perform we kicked the show off, so we were the first thing, and he goes, "Hey guys, I don't know if anybody's staying to watch the whole show, but if I win Artist Artist of the Year, I would love if you guys would come on stage with me, you know, my band." And we're like, uh, sure. And you got to understand, like, the last f- five years or something, he <laughs> hasn't won Artist of the Year. And and so, you know, we're sitting there, and it, the time comes, and we, like, go down there and, you know, from our seats and go backstage and kind of waiting, 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 and he freaking won it. And it was incredible. And That's he, so cool. And he seemed really, like, happy about it and, and stuff like that. And the first thing he said when he got on stage was like, you guys stayed. And we were like, yeah, we stayed. And so a bunch of us stayed. And so it was a really cool thing. And he was like, all right, we're celebrating. We're going out. And so we went to like this place that's like membership only and whatever is some swanky situation that I'd never been to, obviously. <laughs> and um, and uh, we were there and we're just sitting with people. We're talking. They're ordering sushi. Uh, we're having some drinks. And and uh <laughs> My wife, so we're the, like, I'm talking to some people, I'm talking to some people from Toby's label, uh, Goatee Records. And Jenny hits me on the shoulder. I was like, yeah. She goes, babe, it's one in the morning. We got to go. And I was like, oh crap. Cause Jenny's mom and little sister have been watching Amara. And of course Amara sleeps. So they're just, you know, at the house, but like, you know, it's a school night and Jordan's got to get up. And so like, I'm driving home. And I was like, babe, I cannot wait to sleep in tomorrow. <laughs> oh, gosh, I have my podcast tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, it's just how things go with me. So anyway, from getting back, telling her mom the story, me writing my stories down that I you know, sent myself you know, throughout the week and everything like that. And then we finally get in bed and I look over just in time to see the clock say 303. And I was like. Ooh, this is going to be quick. <laughs> so, this is going to hurt. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it There's literally felt like. There's nothing worse than taking a nap when you need to sleep. Oh, Ugh. you aren't lying. No, I'm with you. Oh, that's the perfect way to put it. Um, so that was an, aw- it was an awesome night last night. And um, yeah, uh, so, so cool. big ups to my boss, Toby Mac. It was, it was freaking great. Congratulations, um, man. That's so awesome. Yes, it was it was cool. Now you can take a nap for like the next twenty minutes. So. <laughs> exactly. We got you, bro. We got you. Um, and then on the gamer side of things, I freaking beat Beyond Two Souls in like five seconds. It's like <laughs> you tweeted it one day, and then the next day you're like done. I'm like, dude, what dude, the heck? I, yeah. I knew it was short. I knew it's like yeah. a, it's only ten hours or something, isn't it? Yeah, it's not a long game. That's um, so funny. So that was a cool experience. You definitely have to know what you're getting into going in. We, you know, we've said that before. Um, 
but there was times that I felt like it was a, I said it, Ed was texting me the other day. He was like, how was Beyond? And I was like, it was good. And I said, it was a little long for how short it was, if that uh, makes any sense. Interesting. Like, it dragged. The, it, there, was a l- there was little portions of it because you can't, you got to remember there's no like run. So you're anytime you're walking Ellen Page around, you're just walking unless the scene calls for you to run. So you can't like quickly do anything you can't speed things up yeah if that makes sense like i remember you know and so for me that kind of likes to treasure hunt in games like that like last of us and stuff i like to like walk around behind stuff see if there's anything i'm supposed to be in and stuff like that dude that's out the window because you're walking everywhere so you're like man i should just move the story ahead because i'm i can't i don't want to go check all the way over there for something because it takes forever wow you know and there are stuff that there is things that you can collect during the game. Okay, so then do you do you get why the reviews were all over the place? Oh yeah, yeah. I okay. mean, it, it it totally makes sense okay. uh, to me, and I can see why people gave it like amazing scores, and I could definitely see why people were like, "Ugh, this game," you know, because it does feel like it can be like you're, you know, I don't know that you're. It's just so s- slow paced at some points. And you're like, man, I want to just do this quickly or, um, you know, I want to move the story along. Another thing is they have a lot of choices. Oh, wow. About her answers, you know, when she's talking to people. And it's funny because I found myself, you know, they would say you can tell the truth or you can lie. And uh, I found myself telling the truth a lot at the beginning of the game because you don't know anything about this girl. And the timeline jumps around the whole thing is on a timeline and there's a bunch of events, but they jump from, you know, childhood to adolescence to her being an adult. And so, and they jump around, jump around, jump around. And so I just wanted to know who she was. Like you don't get a lot of who she is or what she's going through, through the story. You get it through Mm. some, when she's telling people. And so even though in instances where I felt like, man, I should probably lie to this character or evade the question but I want to know who she is too. So I might as well tell the truth so I can hear her say it out loud. You know, so uh, there, there was one point where you're talking to this guy and you say, you know, there's this entity that I've been tied to since from birth. And, you know, and I told her to tell the truth to this guy that, you know, she just met at this party, which I wouldn't really have her tell the truth to this guy, but I wanted to know what, you know, what she was going to say. And then like two answers later, you can say that you were kidding and so I used that out because he starts treating you really weird. But um, and so it was, you know, it, it was a good game. Ellen Page killed it. I was going to say, how, how was, it. yeah, how was the voice acting really good? I mean, because you got to imagine with having all those different options and the scene being able to play out so many different ways, how much work had to have gone into oh, yeah. doing that? I mean, you know, Commander Shepard, you're in the midst of playing it or The Walking Dead. And, you know, Walking Dead, you can go a different storyline for, you know, two different storylines for a while where this doesn't go that drastic. But, you know, there's still a lot and a lot, a lot of acting that goes that has to go into and a lot of voice acting that's got to go into it. And so, um, you know, Ellen Page killed it. And, you know, you know, it's weird to say you're proud of someone. I don't know or anything like that, but it's just cool to see Hollywood um, do something like this. Because number one, they're going to be excellent because she's great little actress. Uh, Willem Dafoe is freaking Willem Dafoe. Um, and then the the guy, I actually forget his name. I, I should have looked it up. But the guy that plays her caretaker, like in the beginning, this is a black guy. He does really, really w- good as well. Like oh, I thought he, he killed it too. So there wasn't any. There wasn't any dips in quality as far as that came, you know, outside of, you know, like the people on the outskirts. But like the core people were all really, really well done. Huh. So very beyond cool. two souls in the books. I watched the uh, giant bomb quick look of it, and it was really weird to see those actors like as young people like they could make them young because it was. You know, they were right. computer generated. So I wonder if they ever showed like Willem Dafoe. They're like, here's you as a youngin. He's like, whoa. It was crazy. Yeah. And when I saw they, that they scene with him, I was too. like, you got to be kidding me. That's crazy. Like they have Ellen Page in there as like a seven year old or whatever. I know. And it, re- and it really <laughs> looks like you're like, man, that could be Ellen Page as seven. You know? Wow. 
I wonder yeah, if they like cool. showed them and they're like, hey, look at this. Like, ba- I wonder if they like if Ellen Page had to bring in like kid pictures of herself or if they just handled it. I, I imagine. I don't know. Yeah, I couldn't imagine they didn't. It was awesome. Was the anyway. um, I wanted? I had a question real quick. Was the jumping around on the timeline thing? Was it like really cool, or was it just? Did it feel just kind of you know handed to you? Like it wasn't really well thought out. You know what I mean? Like, was there a, um, a good reason to jump around? Well, in the beginning of the game, she talks about her memories being jumbled up in her head mm. in the intro. And so I think that's why they did it. They could have done it chronologically and you probably would have understood it a little bit better, but it kind of was cool knowing where you were going. You're like, okay, this is between what I just did and what I did yesterday. And so you're like, okay, this is kind of cool. And you had to really think about, okay, where is this in her life for it to make sense? And for me, it just like stretched my brain a little bit more and like just kind of worked that muscle. And so it was kind of cool in Hmm. that way. Because for me, I thought it was cool. I, I know a lot of people were like, I wish we could have just play this chronologically. But for me, I was like, to have to re-remember the missions that I did, you know, before and after whatever this event was about to take place. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So this is before this. But okay, 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 cool. I I can like put it into context. That's cool. You know that I mean? it, it, it does tie in as as ran as random as it is it does tie into everything and you you yeah it was cool i thought it was to remember that well done and i think it would have been i think in the if they would have done it chronologically i'd have been like oh okay with the levels with being seven <laughs> you see what i'm saying like yeah, cause, yeah. you know four or five six levels as being a kid okay and okay. so you know i think i'd have been over it so it was nice to jump i thought it was nice to jump around okay well then it seems like a, a smart decision that they made then because i i yeah. was just i was curious about it because a lot of people, like you had said, you know, were kind of iffy about the whole jumping around thing. I was just, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I would think that might would that would confuse me a little bit and kind of get me like, huh, okay, well, this is going this way, way. You know, I don't know what context I'm getting into, but it, for- it, it seems like it, it worked though. Yeah, mm-hmm. it forces you to pay attention, Good. and a lot of people I know um, probably play. You know, a lot of people I know play video games, and they'll just. You know, as it's coming, you know, go up and take a break on a loading screen. But the loading screen was the timeline and telling you what you were about to do and what the mission was called or what the, ep- you know, whatever yeah. this section was called. And I, f- I know that I, I looked away once. I, was, I think I was doing something with Amara or something and looked back and the level just started. And I was like, ah, crap, where am I? You know what I'm saying? So uh, gotcha. it gave you that sense of like, hey, pay attention. Take this all in because it's going to matter. That's cool. You know? anyway. That's good. Hmm. Yeah. Router, do what you do, Jack. <clears throat> oh, yeah. All right, let's do this. New releases this week. Episode one, The Wolf Among Us is mm. out and about. I am downloading that as soon as we're done here. Yeah. Uh, episode it. one is called Faith. Mm-hmm. So I'm very excited about this. The next Telltale uh, games. So um, I cannot wait to play this, but I'm also kind of torn because I really want to finish Mass Effect 2 as well. But you know, this so, is only going to be like 20 minutes long. It could be, yeah. It's really I am short. Gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and get the season pass anyway, because I did that for The Walking Dead, and it, it, was, it was great. You know what's funny about this game? None of us would be talking about this if Walking Dead wasn't incredible. That's exactly right. Because yeah. Back to the Future came out. We were, you know what I'm saying? That didn't stir your yep. thing up for Tales, Telltale. I, and I, I'm going to say Jurassic I played Park. a little bit of Back to the Future, and I didn't. I don't know if I really enjoyed it. You know, it's funny. I didn't hate it, and I thought the guy that did Marty McFly's voice was incredible. Oh, he was dead on. Oh, my gosh. For that yeah, not being great. Michael J. Fox, he killed that. But yeah. I'm the same with you. Like, I just, I played it for a second, and then was like, okay, that was, I played, like, the free episode and moved on. Nice. Yeah, so, I yeah. think it has to be, you know, it has to be an interesting story, too. Like, Back to the Future is, it's a cool movie, but I don't know right. if I need to play the game. Sure. Right. Once you've seen the okay. movie, it's like, do you need to play the game? Yeah. Well, it's I know a, they did some new things with the story, but eh. Right, exactly. Yeah. Know, the Walking Dead hooked me right away. Exactly. Yeah. And I think is the first episode of this game free? I talked to my boy Ed. Yeah, I, I think couldn't he figure said that he got out the first episode for free. Or oh. an episode? I don't know. Yeah, it might be the demo. I don't know. I haven't looked because, you know, I looked on, uh, I just on the what's new in in the interface for PS3, because I would think that they would have an actual 
uh, Wolf Among Us panel on there, but I didn't see it there because they're still pushing, um, uh, what is it, uh, Amalar as the free PS Plus game. Kingdoms but of Amalur. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Kingdoms of Amalur. Amalur. The chilling game. So, yeah. Anyway, Wolf Among Us is now out. I know Xboxers got it, I think, last week or yep. Friday, Thursday or Friday or something like that. So I'm excited to play this game. Um, speaking of Xbox, Xbox Live Gold subscribers for the month of October, Halo 3 is F-R-E-E. Oh, nice. So that w- that's awesome. Especially, that especially on the heels of Halo 4 being 10 bucks. On yeah, I know. Yeah. Go buy Halo 4 for 10 bucks and then play Halo 3 too. Yeah, shoot. That's that's a couple weeks right there of, of some good fun. Oh, yeah. So that's awesome. A couple other releases this week. Um, Wipeout, Create and Crash for the Wii, Wii U, 3DS, and Xbox 360. Everybody get your shotguns out, people. Cabela's African Adventures is out. <laughs> the Xbox 360, I, I Wii, totally, and PS3. I totally knew you were going to say a zombie game. <laughs> oh, gosh, that is so funny. Yep. Let's do this. It's Cabela's African Adventures. That yeah, just came out. Oh, uh, <laughs> zombie game, Cabela's African Zombies. <laughs> Z- African Zombie Adventures. Zombie Elephants. <laughs> uh, that would be that amazing. Sounds good. Zombie Elephants. That's good. Uh, a couple other ones. Hometown Story for 3DS. Worms, the Revolution Collection for Xbox 360. Uh, get your dancing hip hop shoes on because Zumba Fitness World Party is out for the Wii U as well. <laughs> uh, Valhalla Nights 3 for the Vita. And Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Special Edition on Xbox Live Arcade. Wow. Okay. Yep. I'm sorry, I keep interrupting, but I have to say this. And I bring up Ed again. But just happenstance, right? The Today Show sent a call out and said, hey guys, we want you couples that. You know, if one of you wears something that the other one hates. So Ed Placencia's wife, Sarah, is a Zumba instructor and she wears like these tie dye, like MC Hammer pants, pretty much. Totally. To Zumba totally. In. Like in, in living color, MC Hammer style pants. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. And They're he, awesome. And he doesn't like them, I guess. And so she submits themselves and they're getting flown to freaking New York today to be on the Today Show this morning. <laughs> Is that this morning? Or I'm so, I think it's Thursday. That's awesome. I'm sorry. They're getting flown there that's today so on Wednesday when we're recording this. And they'll be on the morning of tomorrow morning, Thursday. Tomorrow, yeah. But today when it. people, a lot of people are listening I, to this. I have it in my calendar, man. I can't wait. Ed, like, good luck. Are Ed they, and Sarah, good luck. It's so awesome. Are they going to so, like bring them out there and they're going to like interview them? Yeah, it's and like she's a, getting like a makeover and all this, like yeah, into some clothes that he'll awesome. like. It's incredible. I think that's so great. Uh, in mid sentence, Ed should just be like married to the games dot com. That's right, Wait, <laughs> dude. Send that boy a shirt right now. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he already have one? He should. He has know. to. I don't know if he has one or not. I don't remember. That's so funny. Shoot, I'll drive up there and give it to him. <laughs> Isn't that crazy though? He's gonna that's be on the so freaking awesome. Today Show. I that, can't wait yeah, to watch it. That that's is fun. so funny. That's funny. I, I I didn't know if you were gonna mention that because I I saw Zumba Fitness. I'm like, oh, Ed and Sarah, they're on the Today Show tomorrow, so that'll be good. Yeah. So perfect. very very cool. Yeah. Well, good good luck to him. Um, so that's it for new releases. We got top selling games this week. Number nine and ten, Madden NFL 25 for PS3 and Xbox 360. Number eight. Our favorite Minecraft, number seven, uh, six and seven, FIFA Soccer 14 for Xbox and PS3. Number five, The Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker HD for the Wii U. Oh yes. Uh, number three and four, the debut of NBA 2K14. Oh. So yeah, that, that's com- right. that came in three and four. In the reason why, because number one and number two, Grand Theft Auto 5 exactly. once again killing it as usual like that enough. game didn't make enough money already right exactly i mean they did they did <laughs> yeah. another five hundred thirty-one thousand units for the xbox and another three hundred ninety-two thousand oh for my the ps3 gosh we are this thing is going to be a beast i would not be a bit surprised if it just maintains this probably in, up until uh ghosts come out yeah you think that'll be the first thing to knock it off is ghosts i, I think so. i don't would think be. i don't think assassin's creed 4 is going to knock it off yeah i don't think so either I mean, shoot! If NBA 2K14 debuts at number three and number four, I know that's crazy. They did they did three hundred thirty five thousand for Xbox and two forty nine for PS three, which usually would take the that one would take two. It, yeah. yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Because the next one down from them it did one hundred fifty two thousand units, and that was the Legend of Zelda. 
Wow. So yeah, they would have they would have been one and two if it wouldn't hadn't been for GTA five. That is crazy. Yep. Nuts. Oh. And that was oh, so sorry. yeah, so that was that was it for the week ending uh, October fifth for those top selling games. Sweet. Halsifer. You want to talk about Watch Dogs? Because I have a theory about it. We might as well talk about it. Uh, yeah, Let people let's know talk what's going it. on. Uh, Watch Dogs got delayed until spring 2014. Yep. That's um, crazy. It was supposed to be out next month. Next I, I know. month. That's a big pushback. And I think the thing that pushed it back, honestly, is probably GTA. Could really? I'm not, well, think, I'm not thinking, like, necessarily that it because it's a sales leader, but... Maybe GTA 5 came out, because Rockstar is really good about keeping their games a secret. That's why everybody's kind of shocked when something comes out and it has all these features that they've never looked at before. You know what mm, I mean? Or they've sure. never seen. I I just think that there was something about that game, something about the polish of it, that when the Watch Dogs developers saw it, they were probably like, well... We kind of need to tweak some of this stuff, or else people people are going to compare our game to their game. Mm. Maybe you know what I, I mean. mean? Well, Fun- function wise, IGN did talk to the CEO, mm-hmm. and because I think they listened in on their their weekly conference call. So some interesting things though about Ubisoft is this year their numbers for Splinter Cell and Rayman uh, Three were that they didn't meet their expectations. So a lot of people are, are thinking that this might be a, a financial thing that they want to they want to have a better start. Their fiscal year starts mark in March of 2014, so they mm-hmm. probably want to start 2014 right. But he actually did say that they want their they really want to launch this as a franchise. So this could be like the next Assassin's Creed franchise, and they they said they want to start and make this as perfect as possible. Yeah, so I, I don't know if I don't oh, know if that's ahead. a cloak. I don't know if that's a cloak for anything, but I mean that that's cutting it short. If you want to make this perfect and you're out a month and then you decide to release it for another 5 6 months, oh, that's Oh my gosh. That seems a little mm-hmm. drastic and I don't know if it's desperate or not, but you know, who knows. It it stinks because I have it pre-ordered and it's funny that you know, I got a an email from Best Buy when I pre-ordered uh, The Last of Us saying it was delayed. Still haven't gotten that for the Watch Dogs yet. Granted, it was only announced yesterday, so maybe they're they're collecting all their emails and data and sending it out. But I haven't gotten an email from Best Buy saying, hey, your pre-order's been delayed. That would have been funny if you would have got the email, you tweeted about it, and then somebody yeah, wrote they, a story. <laughs> Tim yeah. Router from Married to the Games yeah. confirmed. I was <laughs> when, when, I, when I tweeted that yesterday, I'm like, huh, I wonder if somebody's going to pick this up. Right, <laughs> right. I, I am famous, you know. <laughs> that was hilarious. Um, so, I, you know, I always think, you know, we did go through this slightly with The Last of Us. We were so excited about it coming out and got yeah. pushed back like two or three months. And uh, but we had obviously Tomb Raider at the time to hold us over. But um, I just remember, I, I, I mean, five months is a long time. Yeah, it might be something. It might be that something's broken. Like, that's what I'm thinking. Like, if a game takes two years to make and they say, hey, it's coming out on this day and then that day's coming and they say, oh, we need another five months. That's it feels like something more serious than just their fiscal calendar. I could Honestly, be wrong. No, I think you're onto something. I think it, it could be because of the next gen dev kits, because they're constantly changing, because I'm sure once these next gen consoles are starting to come out, there's probably been some tweaks to the dev kits that they've done mm-hmm. to kind of, you know, make sure that they've got all their ducks in a row or maybe they forgot something who knows but you might be onto something that, that you know it i think it it could definitely be something probably not with our current gen consoles but it, it may have to do with the next gen consoles that there's there's some extra steps that need to be taken or i don't know something like that but it's i mean that is drastic and you know it's funny because since what was it e3 like they've been showing at all these different conventions they've been showing the same stuff like we haven't seen a whole lot of new right. information and you would think a month out that we get to really start seeing some gameplay and they kept it on lockdown so there's definitely something going on yeah I, my biggest fear is like and this is why they have them but like i remember when i was getting walked around uh sucker punch by my boy jason uh you know you have a whole you know there was like eight people just playing infamous you know, second son trying to break it, you know what I mean? The, the testers. Yeah. And so mm-hmm. like, 
I just imagine that one guy. I always think of things really dramatic, like this guy's playing it and something happens and he's just like his hands shaking as he like slowly raises it. Not that they raise their hand because somebody's watching them, <laughs> yeah. but like, you know, it's like, um, this is not working. And, and it <laughs> like sends this like thing through the company. They're like, oh my gosh, this whole section of the game is broken. We need yeah. five months to fix it. It could yeah. be just their money thing and like, hey, let's start next fiscal year off great we have well and you, you know, got you got you got ghosts coming which is going to take over ghosts will definitely knock off gta 5 at that point i mean there's still uh, some third and fourth quarter heavy hitters yeah so i think i think they're kind of smart in doing that because in the springtime you know it's a little bit it's a little bit softer of a release date for a lot of these new games so it, they may be smart and they might they're just trying to maximize their money for this because they want to build this as a franchise i don't know we'll see yeah. but you know what if that if that's what it takes i guess i can wait i've got enough games that i can play that to hold me over till then anyway i think it's smart because all the you know all the parents going to the stores and buying their kids games they're all going to be ushered towards um you know the the games that they've heard about call of duties Grand Theft Autos, mm -hmm. you know, I don't think they're gonna, it's really, I would think it would be really hard to release a new series at right the end before of the Christmas. year. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. yeah. they're going to be Assassin's bombarded. Creed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and we also have next gen consoles coming out too. So there's, there's a oh lot my of, gosh, yeah. th there's a lot of distraction so that, you know what? I, I'm not mad at them for it at all. I think, I, you know, I, we've said this before with The Last of Us, I'd rather have them get it right and get it as perfect as they think it, it can be so that it's more enjoyable for the gamer to to play. Right. So I'm all, for, I'm all for it. If that's what it takes, that's fine. Yeah. Better to, better to be better later than awful right now. Exactly. Um, so you know how we always talk about these Pulse Elites and how much we love them? How yeah, much I still need to buy them. The, oh, please haul. Yeah, buy them. I still need to get some. I just, I, I keep getting to the point where I'm like not justifying it. It's like the air conditioning in my Saturn. Like I keep saying like, like at the beginning of the summer, I'm like, yeah, I should probably fix it. And then by the end of the summer, I'm like, I'm not going to fix it. This car was $900. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Exactly. That's a good point. So. All right. Well, you sound like uh, something's up. Well, so hit, hit, the hit thing us. that frustrates me is that they're Sony product you know what i'm saying they're not like some third party thing that works with your playstation right right these jokers are not going to work with the ps4 at launch wait i thought they were supposed to they're going to and and it's funny how sony has always worded stuff is like yeah the pulse elites will work for the ps4 not not at launch at some time but oh, will work man and so it sucks but they did say hey we are going to do an update that is going to have them working. Right. So, but the question is when, right. Number one. Yeah. And so, um, but the, like the turtle beach, you know, turtle beach, the other big company that does, you know, headphones and everything like that. They have a, a model called the PX four and uh PX four. <laughs> right. And Not PS four. Yeah. And it Ooh, will smart. work day one on, the PlayStation. I just thought it was a little lazy of Sony, honestly, yeah, to tell you the truth. You, I was like, this is your product. It's like yeah. <laughs> a Honda, like Honda making an engine and be like, hey, hey, don't go throwing these in cars now. We don't, <laughs> these engines don't work with these cars. Right. <laughs> it's your engine in your car. So here's my question, though. Is is Sony trying to push another headset for, that's more specific for the PS4? Or I have no idea. I mean, they're I coming, mean, you know, all of them are anything. coming with little earbud but those are i think wired aren't they oh please come on you can't you can't touch the pulse elites trust me you know i know that Jack. earbuds cannot touch that and hall you would know if you purchased them i'm just saying but <laughs> yeah well i see but, I, but i can i can play louder than you guys so i'm like i always end up just being like i'll just turn the tv up exactly that's true uh, there's nothing better though man it's I'm so good sure. but it's just well, hard it's, to justify it when i got speakers I know exactly <laughs> coming out at me. and you're an audio guy. So I totally get it. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Well, it's all good. Gabe. I hope that that for you, for your sake, cause you're going to be our first PS4 tester. I hope that update comes quick sooner than later. Me because too, boy. Otherwise you're just going to be sitting there. 
I need it to be like day three, the day I'm picking up my PS4. I can't imagine that, like, it, it can't be, it's a Sony product, it can't be that difficult to patch it or have some sort of an update. Or it, it could just be a firmware update, I don't know. It's just but interesting that out the box, it's, it's, like, I would use this time to re-promote the Pulse Elites. You know how many people don't even know what they are? I know. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I'm talking about at game stores. At, yeah. you know, in the gaming section of Best Buy or in the gaming section of Target, you know, I'm like, hey, do you guys have uh, the Pulse Elites? You know, because I keep u- losing the USB dongle that goes with it. You do? Uh, oh, I've <laughs> lost it. I've lost it twice. Oh, that's awesome. It's the, it, like, and so, <laughs> like, I, I, uh, so I bought the heads. Head, this is how much I like them because I'm a cheap guy. You guys have heard me on the Twitter and trying to get my Vita and trying to, you know, make shift it all together so I can get a cheap one. And Duct um, tape, baby. Duct yeah, tape. exactly. It fixes everything. <laughs> um, but so the Pulse Elites um, only, you know, work wirelessly with the USB dongle. Lost my first one on the road. I was like, Ugh. shoot. Got so worked up about it. I was like, I have to have it because they're amazing headphones. I have to have them back. So I find a guy on Craigslist who's selling his Pulse Elites for $60. The, you know, the headphones are 150 And I was like, hey, can I buy those from you? He was like, sure. So buy them for $60 and sell. I sold the just the headset because the headset still gets, you know, $35, $40 on eBay. Just the headset alone. Oh, wow. And so bought the thing, sold the headset, all gravy, got my USB stick, lost it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> on the road. And like oh, when I lost it the second time, I wish every I wish I was on the Truman Show and people could have seen the disappointment in myself. It was like when you get, get finished eating this a meal that you're like, I, I shouldn't have ate all that. It's right. like how disappointed I was in myself. I was like, I cannot believe I lost that thing again. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. I was so mad. I can see because you travel with it. I can see how you lost it yeah and it's just it, like the small usb stick like the yeah. size of you know a, a us you know a usb stick you would use to throw some information oh, yeah. anyway I, my, mine mine ha- hasn't left the ps3 since i plugged it in it's just, <laughs> exactly it, it's just been sitting there like what's up I'm yeah here. i wish i wish i'm not going i'm not going anywhere and so i got on ebay the other day and this guy was selling these torn apart pulse elites and he's got And they're like, I mean, the parts are all over the place. And he took a picture of it and he's selling it. Hey, broken headsets for pieces for, you know, you know, if you need parts. And I see in the midst of all this junk, a USB stick. And you got to understand, you know how much these USB sticks go on eBay if you sell them by yourself, by themselves? $60. Wow. And so I'm like, I I don't have $60 to go out and buy just the USB stick again. So I, I email the guy, nobody's bidding on this thing. I email the guy. I was like, D- so this comes with a USB stick. He was like, it does come with one. And I was like, okay. So I bid on it. And I think because the picture is so distracting and then he used my question in like the description. Oh yeah. It comes with a USB transmitter. I was like, ah, oh, crap. Now that the <laughs> price is going to get run up, I shouldn't even ask the question, yeah. but I did buy it for $22. Nice. And so I got a bunch of pulse elite crap coming to my house, but it will include a USB transmitter. Gabe is now a chop and shop for the all- pulse elite. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, like, Gabe. What, what do you need, man? What do you you could have bought got- like a Vita and a half by now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, because I've really, only spent, I've really only spent $80 extra over the 150 over the 150 yeah but i don't remember if i bought the, did i buy the original ones for 150 i bought the original ones for cheap as well but that's so funny anyway you're is, exactly right. to the pulse Gabe, elite Gabe's like, shop. all right i'm looking for uh, a vita with a crack in it and the back panel doesn't work <laughs> and one of the buttons are missing what can i find here how much am i looking at yep so true hey, can you throw but when in it the comes duct tape? to when it comes to Pulse Elites, man, he's like, "All right, I gotta have like five backup USB sticks." <laughs> yeah, I, I really do because Sony doesn't do. sell them separately, <laughs> and so That's you know, so I called awesome. Sony and everything like that. They were like very unhelpful. I mean, it was it was the worst. They were like, "We don't sell it." I was like, "They have to be somewhere." <laughs> you got any back in the storage somewhere? Come on, they help like, a brother out. We make one for every pair of headphones we That's make. That's right. Yeah, that but it. yeah, exactly. But the thing <laughs> probably cost two cents to make that USB yeah. transmitter. Uh, anyway, that's but so I funny. digress. Back to the news. Um, uh, so they won't be working at launch PS4. 
Turtle Beach PX4 will work day one. Um, little Angry Birds news. They got a movie coming out. I think we've talked about this before. Is um, it animated? It's <laughs> No, it's live action. Okay, great. I'm just kidding. No, it's animated. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, like it's, it's going to be like, is it going to be cartoon animation or is it going to be all CG animated? I mean, we, you know, I'd, do we know I'd that? imagine CG. Um, I would too. Because of the guys working on it. Um, it's coming out July 2016 is what they have it slated for. What? Um, what? I know. By then, everybody's going to be like Angry Birds what? Exactly. I don't know. I, I wonder. I wonder. Well, it, 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 so here it goes. So a guy named Clay... I want to say Cadis, and uh, he worked on Wreck It Ralph, Tangled, Bolt, Tarzan, Mulan, and a guy named Oh gosh, here I go, Fergal, Riley, Urkel? F- Urkel? F- Did you just say Urkel? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fer- Did I do that? F e r g a l. How would you say that? Uh, I think I Fergal. Fergal. I don't Fer- know. Riley. Yeah. Anyway, he worked on Smurfs. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, Spider-Man 2. So, I mean, like, Spider-Man 2, sorry. Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man 2. Um, they, are, they are co-directing the Angry Birds movie. And so, okay. they've been a part of huge movies, you know, so hopefully it'll be good. And the only reason I think that it could stay in pop culture is um, December 11th, I think it is. Did I really not write it down? Oh, here it is, yeah. December 11th. Angry Birds is having a thing called Angry Birds Go exclamation point come out and it's a carding game and it actually looks really fun. Granted is for the iOS, Android, Windows phone, Blackberry 10, um, but it's going to be a carding game. It's going to use the Hasbro uh, tele, uh, telepad kind of like, you know, think Skylanders. And okay. um, it's going to be free. And so I think that they might find a way to kind of stay woven in our culture over the time. Because if the cart game takes off, let's say it's great, which I can't stand carting games on on the iPad. But um, let's say they just continually do good ideas. You know, we still talk about them. Star Wars, Star Wars 2. You know, people still download them by the millions. And so maybe it'll hold us over. I tell you what, if they keep doing free or 99 cent games on the iPhone and iPod Touch, they'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. I've seen so many kids that they're playing like free games or very cheap games on their iP- iPod Touches. Right. And parents love it because it's, you know, they give them 50 bucks and that lasts them a whole year. Oh, I mean, yeah. more than that. Oh, I, did, yeah, I did that for my it's nephew ridiculous. for his birthday, yeah. I get, so. that's, what, that's what I gave him because he got an iPad, so I gave him iTunes and I just saw him the other day. I'm like... You know, how's it? Have you have you finished all of it? It's like, no, man, I still got a lot to go. I'm like, great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you chip away fifty dollars, ninety nine cents at a time. Yep. And then you got people like us that's waiting for sales. You know, what I mean, I mean, it, you know, you can take forever to go through fifty dollars. So it's pretty it's pretty unbelievable what they've done in the mobile game space. It's crazy. It's awesome, though. Mm hmm. Um, so we'll see, you know, and it could be one of those things that it, it's a good enough movie standalone that you don't need to know the game to take your yeah. kids to it. You know That's what I mean? a long time though. I shoot. I agree. But you know, these jokers take a long time to do, you know, animated yep. movies. Sounds like they got a big budget for this game or for this movie. I mean, those two guys are, you know, they're not, you know, they're veterans. Yeah. You know, they're not mm. doing it for $35,000. Yeah. From the creators of Shrek come. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You know, uh, is, Dream- is DreamWorks doing this or who's doing this? I want to say, was it Disney that's doing it? Whole no, wait, wait, wait. Wow. Uh, don't let you know, Dave. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't take hey. that as gospel. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't think I wrote it down who's doing it, but um, anyway, I don't. Know. Uh, if it's Disney, it will be huge. It's not gonna. Yes. Be, it's not gonna be Disney. Can you imagine going to Disney World and seeing Angry Birds? Oh my that gosh, would be, that would be pretty cool. That would be weird. Those Maybe guys cool. would never have to work but, again. No, nope. <laughs> those birds, <laughs> those birds, the, those birds will never, never have, have to, to hit any more. They're like, please, sir, I don't want to <laughs> appear in any more games. <laughs> Golly. Okay. Um, you have anything, Hall? I think we should get to questions. Okay. 
Uh, um, <laughs> I think get, you just heard Gabe's just feelings. because we have a ton of questions. Oh, that's yeah, right. actually that's right. Real quick, something uh, that I um, story came out that the next Mass Effect will not have Shepard, so Ryder will be happy. <laughs> no, just have a different voice actor playing Shepard. Yeah, I don't. I don't mind him, uh, and I've got him upgraded like a beast right now, and I'm using that um, dragon armor. So he looks actually pretty. Oh, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. I you used that the, the entire armor. time. Heck yeah, man, because I can't stand his face. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say, I used it the entire time, and I only saw his face when I was on the ship. You yeah, know what's well, weird? I never upgraded the armor. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. I didn't want to spend my money on it. No, oh, whatever. I know. There, right. there you go again, being all cheap in the being game. Being cheap. I'm like, can I get like <laughs> half the armor? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll weld the rest of it. Hey, let me get two legs and a breastplate. Let me get two legs and a breastplate. <laughs> uh, that'll cost you one USB dongle. Sir. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Oh man, you run a you run a hard bargain, player. You run a hard <laughs> hard bargain. Uh, uh, anyway, about the okay. game, they said that um, they're going to tell a story that doesn't relate to Shepard really at all. So mm. they're saying it's not a spinoff. Maybe it's just a new trilogy that they're going to be working on so it's so. just by name yeah mass effect i i wonder it'd be kind of cool if they just went back to like they make it a next gen only title and just call it mass effect just start over mm. i mean well, i think that'd be especially cool. with all the heat they got from mass effect 3 right eh, they got but, the heat but they supposedly made it right they well, yeah with all the dlc they made it all right and that's when I get Mass Effect 3, I probably want to get the Game of the Year edition. Mm-hmm. If they even have it. Do they even have a Game of the Year? Uh, doesn't the the trilogy comes with some stuff, I think. Yeah. What either one, I want to make sure I get all the DLC just cuz I want to play it raw without, you know, with the ending as it was originally just to see yeah. how I how I would react and then go and play the DLC. I didn't feel like the ending was that weird personally. Okay. Um, well, you guys know where to find us. Twitter.com slash MTTG cast. Facebook.com slash married to the games. Married to the games.com. Please come check out the forums. We're still having a good time over there. It's been awesome. There's been some crazy deals popping up. We have a deals page, um, on the forum and some people have been posting some good stuff. There was an infamous one last week that was banging. It was like thirty nine ninety nine. You got both infamous games and a blue controller. Wow! For thirty nine ninety nine. I mean, you can't That's buy a, just the controller for that, and you get both infamous games, which were great. Um, so come check that stuff out. Uh, f- my favorite video game memory. I'm gonna start editing those uh, pretty soon uh, for the holiday season. So please continue to send those in. They've been awesome. I have a thread kind of explaining the whole situation, and I'll continue to post on Twitter reminding you guys to do that. Super easy. All we're looking for is for you to take your phone or take your laptop or whatever, record yourself saying, hey, my name is such and such. I'm from such and such, and my favorite video game memory is this. Try to keep it between 30 seconds and a minute. And we're going to splice them all together, put some of Hall sexy music under it, and play it back for you guys so you guys can hear from other people in the community, hear what other people... And what I'm really hoping is, is that as you're listening to this segment, when we do it later this year, you go, oh, yeah, gosh, I remember that game, or oh, man, that was a great, you know, this, that, and the other. And so hopefully we can connect with each other on that kind of level. And because uh, I know everybody's not at the forums. Uh, everybody's not on Twitter. Everybody's not on Facebook. And so um, we just want a, another way to combine everybody. And, and we feel like this is our little uh, lighthouse, and this is what we'll do it from. So anyway, on to the questions. First off, thanks to everybody. We got a lot of new people uh, posting some questions, so I, I and I try to grab as many of them uh, as possible. So thank you for the love. That's so awesome. We got so many questions. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> you guys are making me nervous. Like it's, no, no, it's, we, I think Gabe, we got questions on questions. <laughs> that's right. Stacks on stacks on stacks. <laughs> that's right. So let's we'll start uh, with Facebook. Uh, Garrett Delosier. I bring him up because he just came back from his honeymoon. 
Nice. He, he just got married. So congratulations to you, Garrett. He said, uh, got back from my honeymoon at Disney World. Where did you guys go for your honeymoon? Oh, gosh. So, I uh, want to even talk about it. <laughs> well, Lauren and I, we ended up going to Hawaii. We spent five days in Kauai and five days in Maui, and it was freaking amazing. Sweet. So that's where we went. Paul? Uh, same as Garrett. So, and we went to the beach a few days before too. Like we went down to, um, gosh, which was it? I think we went to St. Petersburg first. Nice. So, um, Florida. Okay. <laughs> gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Router knows what's coming. I love this. I'll make it quick though. Got married in San Diego. Had, um, a resort booked in Playa del Carmen, Mexico, one of the top 10 beaches in the world. Oh, cool. A hurricane hits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So we don't get to go there. We have to go to the other side of Mexico to someplace else. We both get sick as dogs. <laughs> Day oh, one. No. I'm talking... If there's a hole on your body, <laughs> something's coming out of there. It was awful. We, and so because of the hurricane, everybody had flocked to this side of Mexico. And so we get there. We're like, hi, we're the Patillos, the, the newly Patillos. Oh, you're so sweet. Did you finish my sentence? Oh, oh, my gosh. And so we're still all in la la land from getting married. They're like, oh, we don't have any rooms with a king size bed we're like okay what about a queen size bed N no we don't have any of those either <laughs> but i can you guys can sleep in this room with two double beds uh, i was like this is my honeymoon i've waited all these years <laughs> we get Dave, to the if room it if it makes you feel any better our room had two queen beds could you push them together no, there were two queen beds. We just slept in one of them. See, ours were yeah. like two doubles. Anyway, we get there. It's humid as crap. We almost break our necks trying to step on the marble in the room because it was like wet. Everything was wet. Everything was wet. The, wow. to the toilet was not clean. There's hairs all over the place. Oh, oh my God. It literally <laughs> felt like sleeping in a sponge. Like the bed, <laughs> oh like all God. the sheets were damp. <laughs> Uh, we cut it short. We only, I called the travel agent. I was like, we can't stay. No, we can't stay here. Get me out of here. So we fly home. We stay there two days. Fly home. Spend $950 to get home. Uh, um, so all the little money that we got at our little reception was blown in the first three days of being married. And we get we get to Nashville and we're like, you ought to drive to Atlanta. <laughs> and so we just pack up the car and drive down to the W in Atlanta and stay one night. And my friends that live in Atlanta, they're like, you're coming to Atlanta? Oh my gosh, your honeymoon, blah, 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 blah. We're like, uh, they're like, let us take you out to dinner. So we go to this place called, I don't remember what it's called, Seasons 52 or something like that. And uh, couldn't eat a thing. Ugh. And they're like, hey, yeah. we'll uh, pick it up because <laughs> we like each had like a salad and a soup and just stared at it. That was my honeymoon. I'm glad you had a great one, Garrett. <laughs> He's not bitter or anything. Next is he? question. <laughs> Mexico ain't oh, never seen my black behind ever again. Oh, my God. Ever. Okay. That was so it was Here so funny that. You know, you were in that like lovey dubby first married stage, and you both got like really bad sick right away. I mean, yeah, oh, yeah. stupid uh, sick. I love you. I mean, till death do you part sick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we were like, if we make it through this, we can make it through anything. That's right. You got socked yeah. with real life right away. So Oof. that's, it's all good, man. It just builds we character. Might as well been handed a, like... We might as well have been handed a baby. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Like, here you go. Uh, you got have this. Have fun. It's all good. All right, uh, we got another um, regular regular poster, but he had a good um, question. Uh, Mark Boucher, what music is in current rotation on your iPod or whatever music player you use right now? I like these questions because they're they're not necessarily game related, but it's like uh, I like them because we can talk about what we're doing. Yeah. 
Um, what am, what am I playing? Right now, uh, in the car, I'm playing The Nightmare Before Christmas for uh, Piper because it's Halloween, and that's one of my oh, favorite. Nice. It's one of my favorite movies for Halloween. I love Tim Burton movies. Um, and then when I work, I just kind of I throw on like uh, I go to uh, Mixcloud.com, and there's a bunch of like DJ sets and all kinds of stuff, and I just listen to either house music, drum and bass, or hip hop, or whatever, because I don't. Like when I'm working, I just I just need some background music, so that's what I listen to a lot. Sometimes I'll listen to some DJ Premier Radio. Sometimes I'll listen to some house music. So I'm kind of all over the place. I like I like listening to anything and everything. Nice, Hall. Uh, the last Daft Punk record, the new one. Mm. Uh, I was listening to that a bunch lately. That's great. Fleetwood Mac. Get, uh, about not to get fuck. About <laughs> Actually, not to get, uh, uh, that's the song I skip. Oh, yeah, I can't stand oh that song. he's jaded now because You're not, of, I'm serious. Like, if you listen to the rest of the record, there are so much better songs. Yeah, there, there's weird. some good stuff. Yeah, Paul isn't up like, all I don't know why lucky. they would pick that as the single. Because it's Pharrell. Oh. Oh, uh, okay, probably. That's exactly yeah. why they did it. And Pharrell's having a good time. <laughs> Pharrell had a good summer. He's had a good year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess. He came out of no place. Um, I mean, I've been listening to a lot of old stuff. Fleetwood Mac. Nice. Um, let's see. Uh, I like listening to Boston, uh, Foreigner. Um. A lot of classic it. rock, and yeah, then you're like kicking it classic. Well, sometimes I well because at work I listen to Spotify almost all day. Yeah, I, uh, sometimes I go over to like the '90s playlists or something. Yep, those are the you best. Know, Stone Temple Pilots, yeah. Blues Traveler, John go. Cicada. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kenny G. <laughs> I would love to see <laughs> Hall listening to John Cicada. It'd be amazing. Oh, I don't my even gosh. know who that is. Oh, uh, he had a huge song in the '90s. Yes, he did. I I don't uh, want to miss <laughs> trying to find exactly what I missed. Oh my gosh! Just uh, another day. Oh my gosh! Just another day without <laughs> you. <laughs> Paul's, probably Paul's going that, back and forth listening to Jasakata and Wilson Phillips. That's right. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm a podcaster and like a Nat King Cole. If it's not Nat King Cole and it's like John Legend and I like R and B, so I listen to. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, I will say, last night I uh, put Jungle Boogie on and listened to. Oh, it of real course, loud. thank on. you. There you that's, go. Yeah, that's great. a great song. That is a great. If song. If you can sit still during those kind of songs, there's something wrong with you. You're a robot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I listen to uh, Bela Fleck too, but um, and, and the Fleck tones, baby. Oh and yeah, the oh yeah. Tones. And I was. <laughs> Every time I play them, Krista's like, "This is too funky," because they they get <laughs> they, they get, get pretty they funky. get dirty, oh, they get stupid they get funky, downright yeah. dirty. So because white people think all black people look the exact same, <laughs> um, there was another time where I was hanging out and they were like, "Hey, you're Joseph Wooten, right?" And I was like, "No, no, I'm what? not Joseph Wooten." Who's in the flex tones? He's like, "Oh, are you jo- are you Joseph's older brother?" I was like, "Are you kidding me?" <laughs> hey, your <laughs> older black, brother. You just went from one black guy to another black guy. <laughs> just go down the line, man. Yeah, exactly. What's up with that? That's yeah. hilarious. What? He's like Chris Tucker. No, Chris Rock. Uh, uh-uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're black. Do you remind me of this guy? Yeah, exactly. Unbelievable. I like when they're like, no, I got a lot of black friends. Hey, another thing, I was watching Cops the other night, and I'm like, why do you bring up Cops when you're talking to me? <laughs> Golly. Oh, good times. This crackhead was stealing a television. I'm like, mm-hmm. Are you related? Yeah, do you know him? His name was Jerome. <laughs> <laughs> was that your cousin? No. Brother? No. Dad? No. <laughs> All right, you're killing me. All right, let's I'm keep sorry. going. Uh, we got uh, Kyle S. Hall. With work and family, I only play a few hours a week. So Hall, is that like- your cousin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah, Hall, is that your cousin? <laughs> I was just trying to flip the script. No, no, it was perfect. That was perfect. <laughs> okay, so I only play a few hours a week. Uh, so games like Red Dead Redemption, Fallout 3, Mass Effect 2 took forever. I begin to lose interest, not because they weren't great, but that it was hard to stay invested over such a long time. Sure. Ga- games like the Uncharted series, The Last of Us and Dead Space 2 all had what I consider a perfect playtime for the type of schedule I live. With kids, wives, and nine-to-fives, are you ever relieved when a game has a shorter playtime? 
That is a great question. Yeah, great, great I'm, question. I'm, I'm going through that right now with Mass Effect 2. For me, I, I don't mind if they're stupid long. Like, I'm expecting Mass Effect to be, well, massive. Um, I don't lose interest in it I, because what ends up happening is if I get invested in a game, I get really excited about it. So now I want to play more and more of it. So I'm getting up like an hour earlier so I can uh, play a little bit more. So I kind of get obsessive compulsive that way. Um, but it is nice, like like The Last of Us and Uncharted. I, I agree. I think those are perfect play times as well. It's just all in, in how you can schedule your game time in. Yeah. And, you know, so I can I can see it both ways that it could be it could take forever. Like GTA five with with all that open world, like I would probably I wouldn't sleep at that point, you know. So it's just it's just one of those things. So I do like it is a relief when there is a shorter game that comes along. Uh, That's like, still great. Yeah. Yeah. Like even Bioshock Infinite, when I played, I'm like, man, that went really fast. So it was, you know, it, it's it's kind of refreshing. And like I, I've noticed too that I love games so much that I I will sacrifice to play them more. Yes, so exactly. it's one of those things. Like in my life, unless I'm just having a crazy week, and I and I'm I'm sure this guy's busy, and you know, so I'm not probably saying anything he hasn't considered. But like, I know that sometimes when I start getting busy and I start like not playing as much, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I love video games. Yeah. So I like recenter myself and like you know, okay, what can I give up here and there so I can like dive further into this stuff. And then, you know, too, with the podcast, I want to stay and at least try to stay as up to date as my wallet will allow. Right. And so, you know, there's, there's that added pressure of, of the podcast that a lot of people don't have. But um, even before like the getting up earlier or the staying up a little bit later and putting everybody to bed, you know, just so I, I can play those longer games without them getting stale. Cause I totally agree. If you're playing something just in little 30 minute segments, yeah, it's something like Red it. Dead Redemption, you're like, oh, okay, forget this. I don't, you know, I yeah, can't even tell what's going it. on. Yeah. What about you, Hall? Yeah. I mean, I enjoy the shorter games typically just because sometimes it'll be like a week before I get time to go back to a game. Yeah. Um, and when the, I really like it when the wife is busy, because then I can kind of just hammer through something. Yep, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you know, it it really like when she went to go see her mom. I mean, I hammered out Bioshock Infinite. If right. Bioshock Infinite was like Fallout, I probably wouldn't have been able to do that. Yeah, exactly. So it's just that it's it's always a, it's it's a it's a chess game with time. You know, it time really is. Is, is is never on your side. So you just have to figure out what you need to do. Especially if you like the game, like it, you know, you'll you'll make some time or sacrifice some time to do that. Mm-hmm. That's the truth. Yep. I mean, nice. I don't think I could get up any earlier than I do now. Right. But <laughs> right. Exactly. If yeah. if that's what it took, I mean. But yeah. uh, but I, typically I, I just game on the weekends. So. Yeah, I'm doing it now. Like I'm I'm setting my alarm at least thirty to forty five minutes early, even an hour earlier, so I can just get some more time and because I'm so invested in this game and I like this game. I mean, you, you do that kind of stuff and I've got a busy work week anyway. It's just like, ah, forget it. Who cares? I like doing this and I love games so much that I'll, you know, I'll sacrifice it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, good question. Really, really good, really good question. question. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Mike Fowler on Facebook also said, when is router going to say hi on the forum? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> Which a, is, uh, that's a really good question. So I, here, here's the I deal. I forgot you registered. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> here's the deal. I'm not a forum person. I'm a web designer, right? So I, I should. I go to forums when I need help with coding, scripting, <laughs> that kind of broke, stuff. Yeah. It's kind of like a resource. But I never, I, I, I very rarely do I actively participate. I will get on there eventually. But I'd rather just say hi in person to you guys while we're on the podcast. So hi, everybody. But, um, but yes, I will jump on the forum. But it's just not like I haven't. It's not the first thing you think of because it's you're not, not a forum yeah. guy. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I had to kind of switch mentalities too, because this is my first forum uh, being involved with in this way. And I had to like kind of switch my, you know, click my brain over to like, okay, we're like conversating here. It's like long form instant messaging is how I had to like look at it. And uh, I've really enjoyed it. It's been really cool. Yeah. It's good stuff. Uh, Michael Stephen Fraser. This is an interesting one. Ever since news of the electronics manufacturer Foxconn's debacle, 
which involved unpaid college interns being forced to work overtime in production of Sony's oh, upcoming yeah, P- right. PS4. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How have your personal moral slash ethical compass has been tested in your decision to either support or oppose the future release of the new console or other consumer grade electronics like Apple, Google, Vizio. Let me tell you something. Every company I was uses about to say, yeah. Foxconn. You wouldn't buy anything ever. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Th- that's exactly right. I think a- every I mean, company pretty much uses these companies that abuse labor laws. Yeah. So. And it just it's one of those unfortunate things. Um and you know it's it really is it doesn't necessarily persuade me one way or another because i know they all kind of do it uh and and it's it's just the uh a way for them to keep their profit margins high so it's just it's kind of the nature of the beast and if you're used to it i guess i guess we're just kind of desensitized to it because everybody does it and that's not an excuse uh i think people should be compensated for any work that they do and uh but it, I, I don't think it's really going to sway me either way yeah I, yeah it really really sucks that companies like that do that because i can't speak for everyone but i would pay more money so that this stuff didn't have to happen yeah i'm so yeah I'm i don't perfectly, really care perfectly fine paying a couple extra dollars or whatever if if that means that these people get paid and get paid fairly yeah, yeah. i mean of course in a perfect world that's what i would love to happen that nobody was selfish nobody was just trying to push product out of the door that people cared but in reality, and it, and it is hard because somebody does get a target on their back when all of a sudden something comes out. It's like, look what's going on. But you're like, yeah. man, zoom out and look what's going on everywhere. You'd be depressed and not want to buy anything, and exactly, you know, just go live on a farm and feed yourself. You know, exactly. Really so, great question. Yeah, really that's great a really question. good question. Yeah, I mean, that's that's it. Really, really is because every consumer electronic item has to be produced in such mass quantity now. That this is why they do those things. Like either they, you know, don't hire enough people, or they're trying to meet a deadline or something crazy. So they're working people just ragged. You yeah, know? it's unfortunate. They make millions of iPhones and millions of consoles, and you you don't really think about how much a million is until you like think about a million playstations or yep. a I million know. xboxes that's a lot yep. that's crazy <laughs> it's ridiculous <laughs> and they all have intricate parts and they all have you know there's all kinds of factors that are considered in the in the building of each one so yeah it's it's nuts it is really yeah. crazy good question uh lucas ham swisher i'm an american that is living in brazil so between both countries i celebrate a lot of holidays Yet I have recently re- realized that there are little to no video game holidays. So if you, so if you <laughs> could declare a holiday in the name of video games, what would what would you be celebrating? Mine would be National Couch Co op Day because games, <laughs> because games b- bring people together. I love Freaking that. Awesome, Lucas. I love that. That's great. That is, yeah, National Couch Co op Day. Let's do that. That's I like incredible. That. Yeah. Shoot. What would mine be? Mine would be. Shoot your neighbor in the head day. <laughs> Headshot day. <laughs> Headshot. <laughs> uh, I like the I like the couch part of it. It'd be like National Couch Headshot Day. I'll yeah. go with that. That sounds great. Um gosh, that's great. That's that's great. I have no idea what I'd want to celebrate. I'd want to celebrate uh I don't know, man. Gosh, that's a really good question. It, right? I think in the future, man, we need to celebrate a national Mario Kart day. <laughs> I know. I think just video games in general should be celebrated for what they've done for the economy, what they've done for um, imagination, you know, for bringing yeah. things to life with, um, you know, just the te- how fast that technology has grown. Because you got to remember, Pong wasn't that long ago. It really and it was like and mm. and the and the stuff before Pong, I mean, was crazy, crazy simple. And it took these men and these women that were like, "Oh, we can do better. We can do better. We can do better. Let's tell a story. Let's blah, blah, blah. let's have characters you care about." And the and how fast it's grown, you know, trying to keep up with technology. I think something just should be an overarching, you know, a, the day of games and and you know how awesome this thing is i mean they make more i mean we have all these music festivals and blah blah, blah. video games make more money than all that film yeah. festivals oh that's fine video games make more money than all of that put together yeah that's very mm-hmm. true it's a really good point i love that hall what's yours man i'm dying to know 
Um, well, when you actually were talking about the question, I was thinking about like video game history stuff. Like I would think that they would make a day honoring, you know, the release of the Famicom or something like that. Oh, that's a good idea. Right. Cause it kind of revived games. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like console gaming. Big time. No, oh, that's very cool. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's oh. what I was thinking. They would do something like that. So awesome um, question. Maybe, maybe they could have like a national play a PC game day. <laughs> Because <laughs> not a lot, not enough console gamers do that. Oh, or you no. could also do or national play inverted controller. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We need to keep that alive. I'd enjoy, of, I'd enjoy that day. You would you would get a lot of Smash controllers, man. That's for sure. You know what? Speaking <laughs> of speaking of that, like what what Hall said, like just a national play something not on your console day. Go it's play an idea. Xbox game. Go play a yeah. PlayStation game for Xbox guys. Go play a Nintendo game. Hall. Go play a PC game, you know, like you're saying. <laughs> hey, I still play the Game Boy. <laughs> you, you do? Go. Pocket. Yeah, Game Boy Pocket. Nice. That's awesome. All right, how much time we got? Because I'm just now getting to Twitter questions. I'm good. If oh, my goodness. Hall. Yeah, let's, uh, I'll get, let's try to about, lightning round these. Okay, we'll lightning round these. Here we go. Uh, at Strudels89, the real question everyone's on everyone's mind, which of one of you guys gave in and got a Vita or 3DS this week? Uh, oh gosh i'm actually thinking about selling some of my stuff and getting a vita like me too my game stuff i'm in talks with someone to get a vita Uh all right so we're still in negotiations i want one bad bad all right i want one pretty bad so i don't know if i kind of want the new one though because didn't they said like the new one uses like the non a non-proprietary cable and but the only again, thing is, the screen it's not, it's, looks better on the first one. Yeah, the battery life's better on the new one. They said, uh, and it's going to come in a bunch too. of different colors. But we don't. Do we know when it's coming here yet? Uh, I, I, I guess gotta, we really don't. And don't the new one's supposed to have change. Uh, you're supposed to be able to change the battery too. Right? I tell you this though, I put it on. I put it on Twitter and asked everybody. Nobody said to get the second generation one. Everybody yeah, but I was think like, that's just because the of the gen. screen. Yeah. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, who is that? Piper is that just, Piper? Piper ah. just joined the. She just joined the podcast. Oh, Poor Piper, Lauren. are you getting a Vita or a 3DS? <laughs> yeah, I know. Poor Lauren, she's got to run to a, a class, and uh, she woke up early. Holy cow! It's eight o'clock. She's usually not up for like another 30, 45 minutes. Hi, sweet girl. You want to say hi? Can you say hi? You say hi to everybody? No. No. It's all right. Next time, happen. she's like, I all don't right. know. There's some strange people. Out <laughs> so there. This is all weird. Okay, uh, Adam Pewitt at Adam Pewitt with Halloween coming up. It's time to play some scary games. What are some of your favorite Halloween favorites? None of them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, yeah, I play uh, Doom Three. Honestly, Dead Space. I know it's not me. that great, but I want to play it. Yeah, yeah I, I liked Alan Wake a lot. Yep. Oh, okay. I could check that out too. That was a scary game, boy, for me. Ooh. All right, here we go. At Leto76, with Watch Dogs delayed, what's your most anticipated game left to come out this year? Ooh, Ghost. Yeah, Ghost, ghost. For, ghost for you. AC4 for me, with hesitation. Because I, bur- <laughs> I was burned last time, and I'm, yeah. I'm, looking forward, I'm looking forward to playing it. I just I don't want to be disappointed. I kind of want to check out AC4. So. I do yeah. want to check it out, but I'm more looking forward to Ghost. At WJ Long Three, do you think that Ubisoft pushing Watch Dogs uh, with sorry with Ubisoft pushing Watch Dogs does that weaken your interest in a PS4 or X Bone at launch? Nope. Nope. Mm. Actually, that's probably when I'll get the PS4 because think about it. In the spring, we'll also have for me because I'll, I'm going to get a PS4. It'll be Second Son and Watch Dogs. Oh Lord, that's, yes Lord. That's a great mm-hmm. spring. Oh yes, yes Lord. That's a great oh spring. yes, yes spring. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, um, yeah, I'll get one in the summertime, probably. Yeah. And Gabe will already have his. Heck, yeah. Mine will probably have broken by then, and I have had to send it back to Sony for some whatever exactly. reason. That's right. Um, at uh, Dev A. Tyus, what next-gen feature are you excited about most on either system? For me, it's just better graphics. Like, we're getting, we're getting a pimped-out console, finally. And I know all your PC gamers are like, well, we've had that for years. But, you know, we're, we're finally getting good graphics cards, good, good um, CPUs, good RAM. You know, I'm just excited to see how amazing these games are going to look. Um, I'm excited about, and I've actually dogged this at first, but I am a little excited. Yeah. Hey, Uh-oh. Piper. Hey. I'm excited <laughs> about, like, the social aspect of it, like the cross-game chat and stuff like that. Like, just the fact that they're starting to open those doors up. And I know Hall said that's r- ridiculous, but... Uh, you know, at the same time, I I think that like 
I don't know. I'm, I've I've so enjoyed watching my friends list grow. So I'm like, man, shoot. I would want to holler at somebody every now and then or somebody say, oh, what up, Gabe? Kids wilding out of five. I'm like, oh, yeah, baby. And, you know, yeah, that'd be like, cool. That'd be cool if we could do married to the games, like party chat things. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, we got to do that. Get to that'd it. be awesome. That'd be awesome. But yeah, I mean, they've had they've had cross game chat on the Xbox for a while. Real quick, I right. wanted to say they have a video out there kind of showing off the friends features of the Xbox One. It really makes me realize that they need to reach for something else next gen. Mm. I think that the game streaming is the most interesting thing to me. So yeah, I want to see it happen and yep. see it be good. Yep, that'd so, be awesome. That too. Yeah, them introducing the old how they're going to do with Gaikai and what and what Microsoft is going to uh, pull off. Um, with the old stuff. I'm excited about that, too. Yeah, I want to see it. And the remote play with the Vita. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, that, that's going to be amazing. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right, final question. At Hardwick Family. Hey, guys, what's Gabe's, what is Gabe going to cosplay as at E3 2014? <laughs> <laughs> Darius Rucker. Yeah, Darius I was going to say Lee from Walking Dead is that's who I'm perfect. cosplaying. That's pretty good. That's um, awesome. If Man, if we get to go, I'm hoping... That all three of us get to go to oh, E3 this year. Yes, that'd be yeah, amazing. So. That's a big goal of ours. Uh, yes. And I don't know what that means or what that takes, <laughs> but <laughs> we really want to go. And I think that'd yep. be awesome if all three of us could be there. It'd be incredible. I can, I actually, we, we should just tell our fans, you know, just come to the forums. If you haven't been there before, come check it out. You can register with one click for Facebook or Twitter. Yep. Um, and just come hang out with us at the forum because that's going to be the thing. That kind of helps us get to that point to get to go to E3 and go to PAX and all that stuff. So, yep. Sweet. And cover stuff for you guys. Yeah, exactly. So, we just come be- hang out with us. Yeah, that's all. Tell your friends to listen, spread the word about our little podcast and our little community we got going. That's right. You tell them. <laughs> that's right. Tell, tell them, Piper. Tell them to come to the forums. That's right. That's a wrap, folks. Piper Thank will you probably so much. post before Router posts. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just be like a bunch of just keystrokes. Like <laughs> just keystrokes. Yeah. They'll be like, hey, guys, Imperisumption 387 and asterisk sign. Be like, Piper, watch your mouth. I think you're going to do that. Yeah, right. She's got a potty mouth on her. That's awesome. Um, thank you so much for those questions, everybody. Love it. That's good stuff. Yeah. Thank you, guys. And as we wrap up, we always want to leave you guys with a question that you guys can answer for us. And the question for this week is, what game do you continually go back to? I notice that sometimes when I'm done playing, you know, Beyond or I beat something and that little interim before you start something else, what game is there that you kind of like always go back to? Mine is NBA Jam. For some reason, if it's late at night, if it's early in the morning, for some reason, I can always just pick up NBA Jam and just play two games real quick, and I continually go back to that game. Uh, so what games do you continually go back to, even though maybe you've beaten them or they're just quick pick up and plays on your console? Let us know. Use hashtag answer MTTG. And that's it. I think we're all done. We're spent. It's that's been a, a wrap. It's been good morning. It's raining here, but still, the weather outside is frightful, <laughs> but the fire is so delightful. It is fall, people. It <laughs> yeah. is fall. Sounds like we're going to have to do another fireside chat. Oh, episode. heck coming yeah. up, baby. That's right. <laughs> we should do our next video podcast around a fire. That's a great idea. Something. That would be awesome. Let's do it. That would be fun. Um, I'm Gabe Patillo. That's Timothy Hall. That is Tim Router. And guess what? We are married to the games and we up out this thing. Peace. Peace.